plus plus are explained you that is the if statement so coming to the if else statement so what are this if else statement these are the proof of statements are executed when the condition is true if the condition is false then else part statements are executed same as like a if statement but in case of if statement if the condition is true the statement will get executed whichever in the block and there are no else statements so further any statements are there it is going to execute but in case of if else statements it is going to execute the statements suppose the condition is false the syntax is as follow if the condition condition is done that is by using the relational operators as well as the logical operators and followed by the opening braces and there are two statements or it can be a multiple statements any two of the statement will get executed if the condition is true next coming to the else part that is a here also there is a block of code that is done that is by using the opening braces and the close closing braces in between there are two statements if if ever this condition is false these statements will execute that is statement 3 statement 4 here also we can have the multiple statements and uh, suppose first of all it will test for an uh, condition check for an condition if the condition is true it will get executed and if the condition is false it will skip this block and else part will get executed that is a statement 3 and statement 4 will get executed in case of a condition here the else is an a keyword we used and the if is a another keyword we used that is a if else hope you understand i will explain you the program example so that you will come to know better Hash include std io dot h followed by the main function and I'm going to use int m equal to twenty and n equal to uh, say eighty. Uh, okay, now. Uh, writing the syntax that is if condition say m um equal to equal to n same condition I have given like a if that is a printf that is the statement I want to get executed that is m n n r equal Next is the else part. I'm going to print the statement. Say, printer, printer, m and n are not equal. Next comes is that. Get ch function okay now this is a if else statement if then a condition statement else condition so we are checking for the condition m and n let me execute after that i will going to show you It is a if else program. Not see. No errors are found. Let me run. Showing the result as m and n are not equal. It is going to print the else part. Why? Check for the condition. That is a whether twenty equal to equal to eighty. No. It is not equal, so this block of code will get 
skipped and it will check for the else part whether it is matches this condition yeah it matches this condition yeah this is going to print here that is nothing but if the one of the condition is uh, false it is going to uh, print the else part or else if the condition is true this only it is going to execute hope you understand this uh, if else part better way i will explain you that is the next is nested if statement in the next video until then bye